promise you all these hands were super duper stiff. There we go. Oh, so let's show you guys the foils really quickly. I'm trying to convince Clow to do them, but she doesn't want to. The one I like. Where'd it go? What? The display one we did. Oh. Kiss the con ella. I know. Where'd it go? Way into the nest. I'm just dropping everything, aren't I? Aquí está. Oh. Both of them or just one? No, just one. So this is what I want to do on her. What do you guys think? I love this kind of like abalone seashell mermaid realness design. This is the one, two, three, go in eternal beige. Look how beautiful they are, you guys. I love this kind of like gemstone -y sand painting kind of design. I think it's really cool. So this kit is called abalone and it comes with all these really cool abalone inspired designs. This one is called Fufu Silver, and it's silver lace designs, and they're all really beautiful. Look at that. This one's called Millennium. Holographic one, so it's like the sister to Space Mountain. I was going to call it Space Voyage because yesterday Antonio Kubina Wilson told me that that was the original name for Space Mountain, was Space Voyage, and I was going to call it Space Voyage, but I thought Millennium sounded cool too. Mm -hmm. So this one's called Chic chick and this is also really cool looking as well too some black and gold realness isn't that a football team the pittsburgh steelers i think huh this one is called girls day and this is also really fun really like fun and bright and sexy and girly hologram realness nails this one is called fufu gold This one's called Ariel, and you can see why, because it was inspired by mermaids. This one is called Red Velvet. And Claudia was like, it's, there's no red in it. But I was like, it's a concept. It's the Red Velvet concept. And then the last but not least is Itzy. And Itzy is fun, fresh, sexy, Japanese pop realness nails. What did she say? She said, I always say warm weather in winter months is calm before the storm. Lucky you. I wish it was get cold again. But like some days it gets cold, some days it gets hot. It's like super bipolar weather here. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to convince Claudia to do something very mermaidy. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Right? We'll see what happens. What are people saying, my dear? I love the red velvet. I love the red velvet too. So let's Sandra take off. IMAX. This is her real nail with happy gel too, you guys. We are under flood warning in Ontario, Canada. Oh my god, that's not fun. 70 in Pittsburgh, which is unheard of. In this time of the year, yeah, that's really warm. Raining hard in Mississippi. Wow. 21 in Baltimore. Uh, do you sell t Do you sell a lot in Japan? Um, actually, I don't have a distributor in Japan anymore. I terminated her contract, so we don't have a distributor. There's a lot of distributors that we terminated that's why i don't tag them anymore we terminated our distribution in japan in thailand in sweden in india and iceland so we shipped to those countries directly because they were not cutting it and then unfortunately um we amicably ended the distribution in the uk because miss sahara um decided to move on and she's doing other things now and i wish her the best and i love her so much and but we still are going strong in Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. So people in Japan now just order direct, and we ship it to them. I'm a new customer from Australia. Can't wait for my product. Awesome! Big shout out to Mel Crow in Australia. We need a variation of animal prints, please. Wow. Well, some of them have animal prints. I know, like the cool girl has animal prints in it as well too. 
Like some a, animal print too. Like a snake, snake skin. Uh -huh. I think Girls Day also has a tiger one in it too. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm using the Goldilocks bit to remove the gel on top. So the peacock. The peacock one. Mm -hmm. uh, do you consider abalone animal print? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, the blue one? Yes, because it's an animal. Isn't an abalone an animal? Because it's, a, I mean, it's a sea animal, but. This is called the Goldilocks drill bit, and it's available at enalcouture.com. So we're going to go in and remove all that happy gel, and unfortunately, we have to cut them down. Australia, we need it. The rain from Baltimore. We're gonna cut them down just a little bit, right? Just to rebalance the shape because she needs them a little bit shorter. Patiently waiting my order that I placed December 30th. I ordered the one, two, three, go kit and shiny. Yeah, they're working around the clock, you guys. And I want you guys to know, too, that if you placed your order, like, before December 30th, please note that the post office was closed on the 31st and the, and the 1st of January. Yeah, and on Christmas. Yeah, so this year they closed two days. Usually they work on the 31st, and this year they closed. So that, unfortunately, adds, like, time to the shipping delay as well, too, because they didn't do pickups those days. How we worked. To, how long does the orders take to come? I, I ordered some products from your website in California. Um, right now, it can take up to 10 to 12 days for order to ship out and process. Because we have over 13,000 orders. So it's really, really busy. And we're working seven days a week to get out as many orders as possible. But we want to make sure that everything goes out properly. So... There is some delay, unfortunately, but mostly everybody has been really, really understanding. Some people are like, well, I don't want to wait. Well, then you don't get to use some amazing nail products. Yeah. So you miss out. I'm glad you're busy. Patiently waiting my order always. Love. I love your nail mail. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I love you more. I was thinking about buying a watch. What do you think? Yeah. There's a really cute Gucci one with a Mickey Mouse on it. And now that I have this Mickey Mouse bracelet that I got at Disney World. <laughs> I can't imagine you going to like a theme park because I would just imagine like people were swarming you all over. I have to wear, wear disguises. Disguises? Do you really? Yeah. Things I can't wait to get it. I saw a picture of you in Clifford the Big Red Dog. That was so cute. Was that fun making that movie? Yeah. Because it's been so long since you've done kid stuff that I think it's great you're going to make a kid's movie. I got to order me that drill bit. It just takes everything off like butter. And we have Afterpay on the website too, you guys. So that way you can order now and pay later. Says, Me too, waiting, waiting. I know, but great things come to those who wait. And look at that, the, you guys, the dust is like super heavy, it just falls to the ground. Printing orders out. I'm surprised she hates printing orders out. Because the computer always takes her back to the wrong page. So sad we have to cut these down. Because you guys know I love long nails. Let me see this one. We gotta measure them. Make sure they're nice and even. Even Stevens. And please note that that on her hand was done prior to me doing them. What? The, what is it, the blister? Oh, my, I got burned. With my onion. Oh, I thought at the Golden Globes or something. 
Did you go to the Golden Globes this year? Yeah. Did you see Beyonce there? I did. Yeah? Was she nice? She's nice. Some people were talking about that she didn't stand up for Joaquin Phoenix when he won the Golden Globe for Best Actor. And I could have sworn I saw you there too, and I was like, I'm gonna ask Claudia because she was. So sweet. Maybe she couldn't stand up in her dress. That happens. Yeah. So let's go in and push back the cuticles, you guys. It's super importante. Can you use Afterpay when using a phone? Yeah, but you have to make sure your order is thirty-five to a thousand dollars, and Afterpay has to approve you too. It's not like everybody gets it. You have to have a valid credit card for it. And we don't have anything to do with the approval process of Afterpay. That's on them. Matt, when you do this is Yessie. Um, when you do a fill on one, two, three, do mm -hmm. you remove all the nail and put a new set? It's up to you. You can definitely do that or you can fill them as well too. And we have videos on how to refill them. I've refilled them with base coat. Or you can refill them like any other acrylic or gel nail. It's really up to you. You can really customize it. And that's what's so great about it is that it fits your needs. You're in control. Cassandra, you say, oh, I usually get mine in four days. I totally understand delay. I can't wait to get my stuff. Well, thank you for understanding. We really appreciate it. Not just me, but the whole team here at Eno Couture. So let's go in with the Russian manicure drill bit set. We're going to go in first with little diamond Crazy. barrel bits. I was lucky enough to get one of my orders in before the rush. So I've had my XXL for two weeks. Absolutely love them. Isn't it fabulous? It's such a game changer. Look how beautiful this bit just really goes in, you guys, and just creams out all that crusty molesting. And what it does is it also exposes much more of the nail bed. So that way we have more nail estate, as Susie calls it. Charlie J, hi Max. Hi. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. Sherry, hi Max from Icy, Michigan. Hi from Michigan. Natalia Vega, hola Max, está y clienta. Saludos desde Argentina. Saludos a la Argentina, buenas tardes, Sasha. Yes, 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 thank you. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Melissa says, I live for these videos. You are amazing. You bring a smile to my face. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Tammy McQueen. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. So, can you talk about um about your, your role in Clifford the Big Red Dog? No, Max. You know I can never talk about that stuff. Until it's out. I want to see the movie. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised you were not nominated for any Golden Globe. You were? Yeah. Because yeah. you're Thank such you. an incredible actress. I would have thought that they would have had you, I don't know, actress of the year or something. A breakout role. What? Hello from Quebec. Is that how you say it? Quebec. Bonjour. Bonjour. So in Quebec, in the province of Canada, they're really strict with their French. So everything has to be in French. So KFC, did I tell you about it? Mm -hmm. It's called PFC. PFK instead of KFC. But in France, it's called KFC still. So it means Poulet Frit Kentucky. means Chicken Fried Kentucky. <laughs> That's what it's called in Quebec. Poulet Frit Kentucky. It was a crazy crazy to see. I was like, Katie says, Hi from Kansas City. It's my birthday. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Claudia, do you know how to do the neutron dance? No? Do you? No. <laughs> I think you do. I'm shy. I can't do those kinds of things on television. I'm going to get the music, you guys, because it died all abruptly. I'll be right, right back. Let me get the happy gel. You entertain them, Claudia. Okay. We had some Whitney Houston going on a minute ago. Yeah, and you had really good done. music on. Go get him.
no, a Juan le dijeron, no a matar. Pero si te duele, no tienes que gustar. Esa es chiquita. No es que no me gusta, es que está muy chiquita. Yo no sé, 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 yo no sé. No, ¿quién? ¿Quién? Yo no he ido. There you go, he's got the music that comes. Good music. No tienes ni una. Como en lo que puedas. El mandado, el cuchillo. Ellen says hi from Estonia. Monday. I think a lot of people just saying hi and to hurry. They're joining us. I'm back, yeah. you guys. I'm back. Did you guys get the notification today too that we were live? I didn't. No? Today. Are you gonna do some bling too or no? I don't know. You still haven't figured out what we're doing? No. <laughs> we're gonna let the fans choose. No. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys, who's going to be at the Long Beach show? Who is going to come visit us at Long Beach in California? When is it? January 26, 27, 28, I believe. The last Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in January. I love that show. That's probably one of my favorite shows in the universe. Have I seen you since the holidays? No, we saw each other right before the holidays. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you since Christmas or New Year's? Yeah. What did you do for the holiday season? I was here for Christmas uh -huh. and then I went down to Mexico for New Year's. Oh really? Acapulco? No. <laughs> Cancun? A little town you've never heard of. Really? Just to get away from the world? Yep. Before the Golden Globes? Yep, hardly any... Any service, no internet. Wow. Completely off the grid. I would have gone crazy. That's amazing. You should try it. No internet? No internet. What if somebody needs to reach me? Don't survive. <laughs> and such is life. What did you do? For which holiday? Both of them. Uh, New Year's Day, January 1st, we worked. That's how busy we've been. Mm. But I mean, what a greater, what a greater way, what a blessing to start the new year out than super busy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stacy says she got the notification. Yes, he says she didn't. That's crazy. It's so annoying it's working Orlando, with. Orlando, you know he's watching. Orlando, is it related to you? No. Oh. Susan, she got a notification. Because you're Claudia Aguilar, he's Orlando Aguilar. Do orders from Australia get shipped from within Australia or the U.S.? What is the question? Do orders from Australia... Orders from Australia get shipped from Australia. So right now I'm using the Diamond Noon bit and I'm using it to remove the shine off her natural nail. But I'm also using it to buff out any dry non-living tissue so that way she has a really really clean and snatched cuticle Alyssa said that she and her two-year-old baby girl love to watch your videos oh thank you that's so sweet of you guys make sure that cuticle is nice and clean 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 And look how beautiful it cleans out the skin too. Very delicately you guys, on the skin, with absolutely no pressure, okay? You want to let the bit do the work for you. So that way, we don't break the skin. But everybody's different, so you have to really learn how to customize the surface to really work beneficiary for you.
I actually think I'm gonna go to Korea next week. Mm. Vamos. That'd be nice. What are you doing in Korea? I'm gonna go see my doctor. What are you doing there? It's a secret. <gasps> Maintenance. Let's dust off the dust. Melanie says, hi from South Carolina. I got hi. two, three tips today. Awesome. I wish I would have gotten the XXL. Is that how you're saying? Mm-hmm, XXL. Okay. I love the long hi, ones. Hi, Max. Who is this? Shiny? Orlando, hello Max, have you seen the new thermal gel that changes colors with rainbows? Yes, I have. Whoops. Oh my nail pill. That is actually, that's a liquid crystal and it's actually the same stuff you use inside cell phones. And like LED TVs. <laughs> and your nails? Yeah, and it takes a really long time to dry. So I've seen it actually a while ago and it was something that... Um, it's very expensive, so when uh, the ones I've seen that people buy, mm -hmm. you get like 0 0.005 grams of product, and it, it's it's thick, and you have to let it dry really well, and it takes like a long time to dry, and if it doesn't dry, it peels, and I, it's more like a faddish thing, I think. We are coming out with something else, though, and you saw it already, too. Mm -hmm. You saw the unicorn stuff. Melissa says, your prep work is amazing. Nail looks so good even before filling. Oh, thank you, my love. Gina, hello from Germany. Guten Tag. Susan Medina, hi, Max. Hi, Susan. Tamara. Hello. Hi, Miss Tamara. So let's get our happy jaw ready. Let's use our... These are Princess Pink Happy Gel, and I have my new Vegan Happy Gel brush here too as well. Looks like a pink baton. So cool. I'm gonna take my little Lux brush wipe. And let's knock her out. Have you guys checked out the new Vegan Happy Gel brush? It's so cool. It's super affordable as well, too. And let us apply the Happy Gel onto the nail. Then a bigger one for the thumb. Also, the spatula on the vegan happy gel brush is actually thicker than on the original happy gel brush, which are both are still available and they're both incredible. It's just really up to you. Renee says no power here. Where? Where is she at? So, are you and Orlando related? Because both of you are incredibly talented people. No. I'm going to use monomer today too to spread out the product. But one, Orlando is from Guanajuato. Oh, wow. I was like, I thought maybe since both of you guys have the same name, last name. And you know Talia too, don't you? Yeah. Orlando was like her biggest fan. Oh, that's true. That's him. Mm -hmm. So know. next time you see Talia, let her know that she has a huge fan. So let's use our vegan happy gel brush, pat the products onto the nail into the shape we want. How long have you known her for? Uh, about 10 years. Wow. Rebecca Garcia says hi from California. Hi from California. California. Such a cute brush. And look how beautiful it spreads out the product, you guys. Like butter. He's from San Miguel de Allende. Oh, isn't that Guanajuato? Yeah. He needs to take us. That's like on my bucket list. Really? It's really, really picturesque, oh, isn't it? It's beautiful. I saw this video of a wedding there, mm -hmm. and they like 
the bride and groom walk like down the street con la música mm -hmm. behind them and then all their guests really them. yeah i was like oh my god that's so cute you guys happy gel is such a great um alternative service for acrylics and gels especially if smell is an issue for you or dust this is incredible because you have the strength and the durability of acrylic with the flexibility of a gel but you also have options if you don't want to use monomer to spread it out you can use alcohol you can use a cleanser that has more than 70 percent alcohol to pat the product into place and you have nails that look and feel like acrylic but without any smell Renee, who doesn't have power, is in Alabama. Oh my gosh, well I hope you get power soon. Rebecca Garcia. I love that color and it looks like it applies like butter. It literally does. Orlando, love, love happy gel. Did you go to Guanajuato with Talia or did you go with someone else? No, I went on my own. Oh, really? For the, for the, for a wedding or what, what did you go for? Or just for fun? Just to visit. Oh, nice. And how is the food? Delicious. Everything. Yeah? Everything's beautiful and delicious. Aren't like the houses like orange and like pink, mm -hmm. like very bright colors? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Orlando says, we used happy gel in our salon because our clients don't complain with odor of acrylics. Mm -hmm, exactly. So if you want to do something that's pretty much acrylics paternal twin, happy gel is the option. So like their paternal twins are not identical. I think that's a great way to describe it, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. And the durability of this product, you guys, is sickening. Like, it lasts forever and ever and ever. Oh my gosh, speaking of forever and ever and ever. Do you remember that guy, Rodrigo Alvarez, the human Ken doll? I touched this. Which one? I didn't No, they're fine, they're oh, fine. Okay. Do you remember the human Ken doll guy from Brazil? No. You don't remember Rodrigo Alvarez? Mm -hmm. And he had all kinds of, like, plastic surgeries and people would call him the human Ken doll? Mm -mm. Really? Do you guys remember the human candle? Let me know in the comments below. Because if not, then this story is irrelevant. <laughs> it's really nice that there's no smell. I'm going to order me some. You're going to love it. And to apply the 1, 2, 3, go, it's incredible. <laughs> and we're using Princess Pink Happy Gel today. You changed it up. Just a little bit. So, does anybody remember Rodrigo Alvarez, the human Kendall guy? Someone says yes. So, today I was watching on news from England. Turns out he's a transgender. So, what? now, yeah, Rodrigo Alvarez is a she. Rebecca wants to know if it's soak off. Yes, it is. Max, did you know Disney used San Miguel de Allende as inspiration for their movie in movie Coco? Yes, I did hear about that too. I have never seen Coco though, to be honest with you. Why? Did you get plus Disney Plus since you're a big Disney fan? No, I don't like movies. Oh my god. I like the theme park because I like rides, but I don't like uh, the movies too much. Especially the newer ones. Ashley says, hi Max, how are you today? I'm great, how about you? But I know a lot of people like Coco and supposedly I heard they're going to make a ride out of it at um, that would be nice. California Adventure. They wanted to do something at Epcot because they have a Mexican pavilion, but they can't because of the restaurant that's there. I've never even seen Frozen. 
Sherry says, I really like Happy Gel with one, two, three, go. Isn't it dope? A lot of people say they know who he is. This guy. Yeah, Rodrigo Alvarez, the human Kendall. The Brazilian one, because there's two. There's one, I think it was like from Jersey. And he is also, they used to call him the human Kendall. He's not transgender, but the Brazilian guy is transgender. And I saw him this morning. And I was, I shared the video with a few of my friends and I was like, Where how? Did you see him? It was on YouTube, it popped on, on my recommendations. Oh, yeah. Tabitha says you're not missing much from Frozen. Really? I heard the second one is not as good as the first one. Did you just say Adris Elba is transgender? Rodrigo Alvarez. Who did she say? Adris Elba. Who? Adris Elba. Adris, I'm sorry. Who's that? I love Coco. I did not hear you say anything about Mr. Alba. <laughs> Is it... You look him up. Look him up on your phone. He's very interesting looking. What was the first one? Rodrigo Alvarez. Least favorite Disney movie this is Tabitha. Frozen, really? Brazilian writer? Yes. No. Look up Rodrigo Alvarez, human Ken. Okay, we're gonna bake this for one minute now. I just wrote it wrong. Speechless. Um, yeah, just a second. So I'm just going to take a little bit of acetone <laughs> and we're going to Erebus Elba. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's amazing. Who's that? He's an actor. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Take a little bit of acetone. <laughs> what? The main character's singing voice bothers me. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's funny. Little kids love that movie, but the second one I don't think it was good as the first one. But I think it still made like a billion dollars. Wow. Uh, Max, do you have any classes planned for Vegas? I don't. I actually don't have any more classes planned for this year. So this Alba guy is uh -huh. a British black actor who was favored to be the next Jane Bond. Ooh, I can see that. Not Daniel Craig anymore? Well, there is a new James Bond movie coming out with Daniel Craig. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. My masseuse does Daniel Craig's massages and she oh, says... He's so awesome. She says that his body is incredible. Oh my god. She's like, because she gets in there and she massages, because she does tight massages. She's like, I feel it and it's just muscle. It's so hard. She says he's really small though. Yeah, mm -hmm. like short. Yeah, he's a small little guy. Oh, I think he's so handsome. And she says his face is very like, he looks the same he does on eyes on in the movies, mm -hmm. but just really small. Where did my file go? Oh, it's in here. But to be, in all fairness, I've never seen one of his James Bond movies. I don't like James Bond movies. I think they're kind of boring. Oh, I, I just watch him because of him. <laughs> He's so nice. Oh. And he's the first blonde James Bond, too. Because Sean Carter used to be James Bond for the longest time. I'm surprised you're not a James Bond girl. Right? I one of his many? <laughs> one of the many James Bond women. 
Oh, I would be thrilled to do that. But if it was Daniel Craig, or if they're thinking about him. Oh. Either or. <laughs> Either or. The other's like, I'll take whatever I can get. Oh, Daniel Craig just filmed his final Bond movie. Wow, so that's why they were talking about a new James Bond. That's really cool. That's what happens when you go to little towns in Mexico without internet service. You're gonna kill me. Something happened here. Oh, that's okay. We still have to file it. Oh, okay. So I'm using my fantastic file to shape the phalange. Remember, you guys, we're making these nails like an oval, round, almond shape, but super short career woman realness nails so it's really important we always focus on the center point of the of the thumb oh my gosh and then today i realized i had my samsung note 10 the phone i'm actually filming on right now i broke the screen i have no idea how it happened so i was like oh my god it's going to take forever to to get it repaired it has insurance it's going to take forever it's going to be so hard and then I don't have my, um, the front office is closed today, so there's no one to help me. So I went on Samsung, and it was actually really easy to schedule the repair. Sonia Gonzalez says, I have seen an acrylic kit that I like on your website, but I can't find it. Was a complete kit seen yesterday? It just was use, a complete kit. yeah, just use the search bar. It's there. You can look up kit, or you can look up acrylic, and all the products under that category will pop up, my dear. The luxury kit, maybe. Maybe I think so. I reckon. That shape. Mm -hmm. Too busy over here reading your comments. I don't think <laughs> Getting the tea about James Bond. Oh, I looked it up and it's correct. What? The Alba guy is the new James Bond. Oh, really? That's really cool. It's not confirmed, I guess, but it's like the standing he rumor. Could be replaced by Adris Alba. And Robert Patterson is the new Batman. That they're actually shooting the new Batman movie too in London. Oh. So London is the new Gotham City. And I read in Variety that you had originally been offered the role of Catwoman, but you turned it down because you didn't want to be in London for so long. Yeah, I can't. You're like, I cannot be live in London for six months. So they got Zoe Krabs to do it, and I think that's she's really pretty too. Wait, who did you say was the new Batman? Robert Patterson, Twilight. Beautiful. The Grudge came out, didn't it? The new one? Or is it like a remake of The Grudge? Oh yeah, that's true. I wonder if it's any good. I was gonna ask you if you were in. Don't you like... Is that the Rotoma? Mm -hmm. I like scary movies. Yeah, I know you do. When I was on the plane going to Orlando, Hustlers was on there and I was like, that's a really awkward movie to have on the plane. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. Really? Why? I don't know. It was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. I went in with really, really low expectations for that movie, mm -hmm. and I have to admit, I enjoyed it. I tried watching it again, because on the plane it was my second time watching it, and it was like, eh. It's, you watch it once, and it's yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a fun movie. Yeah. But yeah, I think once it is enough. How do you feel with your new phalanges? Oh my god, these are long done. They feel sexy. 
Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Can you believe we're almost halfway through the month? Of the new year, of the new decade. That is crazy. Do you have any resolutions or like major goals this year that you want to accomplish? No, I don't. Really? Do you? I do. Oh. I want to have thin thighs. How are you going to achieve that? I don't know. Plan for that. Prayer. I did say I wanted to join a gym sometime in 2020, but ugh, just the thought of it already. I'm already tired just thinking about it. When would you go? I would need a 24 hour gym. Yeah. But they say that if you work out and then you like take a shower and go to sleep, you sleep better. Is that true? Mm -hmm. I find it hard to fall asleep in the after if I go to the gym at night. Really? Because you, you just get so full of energy. You get pumped? Yeah, I get home and I start doing things. Really? Yeah, and it's like 11 o'clock at night. And you're still going at yeah. it? I like to go like at 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Or 5. So that just gets your day going. Really? Mm -hmm. That early? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What time do you go to bed? Mm, if I end up going in the morning, I have to be in bed by like 9.30. That's what I eat. Mm. 10 the latest. Even 10 is pushing it. What about the psychosomatic stuff? Are you still doing that? No. Mm -hmm. That dream's over for that one? Yeah. Really? Why? Well, you don't like it? I love it. Psychosomatic? But you're not going to do it again? No. Poor Kipo Kwa. I don't know what I have to learn. I don't know. Which one did you end up losing at it? Was it that bad or was it so so? I mean, it just depends. Everyone's different? Yeah. Have, do you guys have psychosomatic where you live? Have you heard about that? Let me know in the comments. I need my bit. I want to use my rose gold bit, but I don't know where they left it. I think it must be in my show stuff still. Antonia is watching. Antonia Kubina Wilson is joining us. Guess who's here, Antonia? I'm late, but I'm here, she says. Guess who's here? It is the Porg. I'm going to go in, since I couldn't find my rose gold bit, I don't know where I left it. I'm going to use the golden smooth top barrel today. We'll do the other one first, my dear. And let's begin to shape the phalange. <laughs> the sergeant in the pink army. That's what we're going to call a rider dies, our family now. We're p our, the pink army. <laughs> To make sure the links are pretty. Well, get up. Oh. Look where are you going. It is longer. I told you. So we should make this hem longer then? No. <sighs> I tried. Hello, sweetie. Oh, sorry. Antonia was getting mad yesterday. She was reading all those comments in that video. What was going on? Can you see? No, we don't want to talk about it anymore. But she I'm was like, she was like, I need to stop or else it's going to pop off. I love this, but you guys, because you can really debulk really fast and you can get right into that cuticle. Seamless. Yes, I love it. Pink army forever. Pink, Pink army forever.
And this bit is coarser than the than the pink diamond smooth top barrel. But just a little bit, not too too much coarser. And you can see how heavy it makes the dust. Antonio said sergeant. That's appropriate. My father was a master staff sergeant in the Air Force. See? Sar sergeant Cubino. Just Hello, thanks for joining us today. We launched a few new things on the website, you guys. Next week, we're going to definitely focus more on the new product launches, but you can start ordering them already on the website. We launched the practice hand that's magnetic, and we launched nine brand new foil designs. We launched Ariel, we launched um, Millennium, we launched Abalone, Red Velvet. Cheek Chick. What other ones did we launch? Fufu, Fufu Gold, Fufu Silver. I originally wanted to call, I think I said this at the beginning of the video, huh? I wanted to call Millennium, I wanted to call it Space Voyage, because it's a sister to Space Mountain. But I was like, yeah, I don't want my staff to get confused sending out the wrong things, because the names are too similar, so. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hey Claudia, did you have a quinceanera? I did. Really? Mm -hmm. Yesterday we were talking about that actually in the video. Yeah. What about it? That some people wanted to have one when they were older and we were like, do it, who cares? <laughs> How fun. What about that girl that went viral for getting married to herself? Remember? What? She had a wedding and she was marrying herself. She didn't have a broom. I did not see that. I saw one, I think Orlando actually posted it. It was a guy couldn't get a date to the prom, so he took his cat. And I thought that was really cute. The cat was wearing a prom, a prom dress. Oh my god. I would take peaches, my little hairless Chinese crescent. Oh yeah. What other posted? Oh, do you know the guy that maybe some of you know him, some of you don't? His name is Ollie London. He is a guy that got plastic surgery to look like a Korean singer, but he doesn't really look like a Korean singer and he's British. He married the cardboard cutout of that Korean singer. The cardboard cutout, yeah. Okay. They did a commitment ceremony in Vegas. So there is somebody that is married to the cardboard cutout of Chimin. How do you like them apples? Really? <laughs> Maybe they're related. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? It's a <laughs> Whatever makes you, if you want to marry a cardboard cutout. Right. How is a cardboard coin to make you happy? Because you can't get the real chimin. So marry the, the closest thing. And the guy was like kissing the cardboard cutout. And like they were in bed together having cake. Oh my god. I was like, how are you going to feed the cardboard cutout? It's just going to get messy. But it, I think it, I think they did it for um, Dr. Phil because he was on Dr. Phil. Oh, okay. Then just kind of like bring publicity or something. Mm-hmm. Anything for views. Oops, sorry. Did you see that, you guys? It literally went on her skin and she's not bleeding. Nope. It tickled. It tickled. It felt sexy. That guy was freaky. <laughs> Who? The one that married the cardboard cutout? Yeah. 
or the one that went to the prom with his cat? Oh, I don't think I. I don't feel bad for the guy that went to um, prom with his cat. I thought that was cute. I would totally do something like that. Who did you go to prom with? Did I didn't go to prom. What? My school was too small. I went to a charter school. Oh. So I had no prom. Did you go to prom? Okay. I've seen your prom pictures. You had short hair. Very short. Very hair. short. So now we're going to go in with the pink magic wand bit, you guys. And they have braces. Really? I don't remember those. <laughs> says hi next and lovely model hope you've had a nice day i've been having actually a really busy day super productive though yes. super duper productive amazing what people will do to attract attention agreed agreed some people can get pretty ratchet i want to be on dr phil what could i be on dr phil for do they pay you mm. I don't think so. Mm. But the exposure? I'm just kidding. I don't like Dr. Phil. I don't think he's even a real doctor. And says, not the cat guy, the cardboard delusional one. Yes, that was crazy. <laughs> okay. I actually met the guy who used to date Holly London a long time ago in Korea. And he looked nothing like Jimin either. He, that guy looked like a penguin. <laughs> like Pororo. So right now what we're doing is we're just really redefining the shape and blending in that cuticle so that way it, the product is super close to it and it just is seamless. Baby, who's gonna be at Long Beach, you guys? I'm so excited for that. It's my favorite show, that in Vegas. And then we're gonna go to Universal Studios. And then we're gonna check out Harry Potter Land when are you going to right after the Long Beach show, actually. And what are the dates for that again? January 26, 27, 28. Oh, around the corner. Mm-hmm. Have you been to the Harry Potter world? No. At Univers the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? My cousin was just recently there. She went to all the parks, actually. Shout out to Carla. She went to Disneyland, California Adventure, Knott's Berry Farm, and Universal Studios. Nice. Like, back to back to back. How is Knott's Berry Farm? Did she tell you? Huh? Did she tell you how Knott's Berry Farm was? Um, Cause isn't it like very old? Yeah, it's one of the oldest theme parks in the country. She said it was okay. I don't know if she went on any rides or anything like that. I was actually talking to her about butter beer. I was like, what does it taste like? She says it tastes like cream soda with a lot of like um foam. And then I asked her, does it have gas? And she's like, yes, it does. And I was like, well, there goes my chance of having butter beer. <laughs> So it's like cream soda with toffee is the best way to describe the flavor of it. I am slithering. I was officially slithering in the water. Oh! I don't know what school I would be. What what house I would belong to. Oh, you know what? I don't know what school I would be. What what house I would belong to. But I, I did not like that there were these kids at Disney World in Harry Potter gear. And I was like, kid, you're at the wrong theme park. Universal Studios is 10 minutes south. <clears throat> and City Walk is actually really cool, but it's small. Where in Orlando? Yeah, and Disney Springs is huge. Mm -hmm. But more expensive. And the food is not that great at Disney Springs. And City Walk closes at 2 in the morning. That was really cool. Butterscotch flavored cream soda, and they serve an alcohol version. Yes. The one you're talking about. Mm hmm. Delilah says, Yes, I love these videos. Aren't they fun?
So let's make sure that fridge is nice and even, you guys. Focus on the center line of the little baby almond nail. So that way she's nice and even. I did. I disagree. Their Rainforest Cafe has amazing food. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. Disney Springs? We had some Italian restaurant. It was really expensive and it was not that great. Angela says, me and my daughter didn't like the food at Disney Springs either. But it's cool to walk around and check it out. Lots of people say, um, seeing and things like that. They have Sprinkles Cupcakes at Disney Springs, though. <laughs> Those are so good. I don't like sweets. <laughs> but you the birthday one? cake, I've had two. Oh, my God. But I had two the whole time I was in Orlando, oh, so okay. like in five days. But if you guys have never had a... If you guys have never had a Sprinkles Cupcake, it's going to change your life. It is the, the frosting is so good. Oh, my gosh. And they have them all over now, too. Sprinkles Cupcakes. It's not just an L.A. thing now. Mm. Like, they have them in Orlando. They have them in Vegas. I think we have one in Phoenix. And they have the Cupcake um, ATM or the Cupcake Bending Machine. I did not go to that. So now I have a reason to go back. And it has a big old volcano at the top of it. Oh, now I want one. <laughs> I wonder if they can ship it to me. I'm pretty sure. They're so moist. Like, I don't know what's in them. Witchcraft, probably. The devil is in that cupcake. <laughs> They're really expensive, though. How much are they? A dozen was like $56. Oh, that is expensive. And then the two, my two staff that went with me, I was like, you guys have to eat them. And one of them was like, it has too much frosting. And I was like, take a bite of the whole thing. And she did, and that cupcake was gone. <laughs> two bites. Two bites. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. You have music on, right? Yes, but I'm trying to talk really loud so that way it, we, it will not get flagged. And it's in another language, so it should be good. Hopefully. We have not had any issues in a while on Facebook. I was just going to say that. <laughs> We've had people having issues with people getting notifications up. Mm -hmm. I know some people said they did and some said they didn't. Yeah, it's crazy. I think because I wasn't live the whole time I was in Orlando. Sonia says, I placed my first order and I'm so excited. Well, thank you so much. Please be patient. And you're going to love it. You're going to have some incredible nail products, my love. That little baby almond nail. Antonia says, just making sure it wasn't my asshole neighbors. <laughs> no, poor Antonia. I remember on New Year's Eve, she posted, she's like, I, I think she was had a really bad time because of her neighbors. Mm -hmm. Which is really unfortunate. You are going to love it, Sonia. Oh, it was me. <laughs> so my mom was replaying one of my videos. Did you hear the rumor that Jeffree Star broke up with his boyfriend? No, really? Mm-hmm. I was reading a comment, too, that somebody got mad that I got mad that I said I don't like Jeffree Star. Or I don't like being compared to him. 
because they they're like, oh, you remind me of Jeffrey Star. I'm like, how? Mm-hmm. There's nothing that's similar. But I think some people think that men that wear makeup, we all want to look like each other or mm-hmm. something like that. I'm like, no. no. Just because we both wear makeup doesn't mean we're friends or that we know each other or that we look like each other. And then she was like, he's jealous because he wants what Jeffree Star has. And I was like, what's that? I am. I learned a long time ago not to be jealous of people because your time will come. So now let's go in with our buffer, the smoothie buffer. Make sure there's no sharp edges on our smoothie. I'm going to use one of our defective smoothies because I end up with all the defective stuff so that way you don't have to. <laughs> We're just going to buff the nail really quickly. It's got to be used, right? got to be used. The acrylic kit and the acrylic brushes Max was using and the other two things. Awesome. I hope you love it, my dear. Let's get those edges. Make sure she's nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, yesterday I had ramen. It was so salty. Oh, where? Uh, fat noodle, I think it's called. I still ate the whole thing, though. <laughs> Do you like ramen? Yeah. Spicy or what kind? I'm not picky. Really? With an egg in it? Yeah. What about maruchan? Mm, no, not really. That's ramen. Yeah, I just don't like it. It's delicious. Mm. But a lot of sodium. So today I feel super swollen. Stop. <laughs> what? Buying. I have big shopping plans at an upcoming mail convention. <laughs> Which one? So far, I only have three shows scheduled this year. We have um, ISSC Long Beach, which is this month, and we have Nail Pro Pasadena, and we have IBS Las Vegas. The Eternal Beige Gel is amazing too. I fell in love with it. Which Max gels? Aren't they like the best in the universe? She is the King Maruchan. Ooh, that sounds good. Who said that? Someone. She knows what's up. Dust them off, my dear. Let's get the dust off the desk. Says Max, I I send for the two three three go. What are the two three three? I think maybe she's talking about the one, one two, three. two three. When it comes in, I'll do a live and tag you. Awesome! So that way I can share it. You're gonna love it. Over like, geez, I don't know how many units sold already worldwide. Hundreds of thousands, I think. Really? Yeah. It's, Change the industry. It took the nail industry, it went upside down and started twerking on the pole <laughs> and clapped the heels. So we're going to take the famous Maxi Magic Film glue. The label has been updated for those that have been concerned. It's all good in the hood now with the label. It doesn't say Goulet. No. Edmonton at the CNTC? I have not confirmed it yet with Lucy. I uh, don't know. I really want to focus on creating YouTube content this year. So let's go in and apply a nice even coat of Maxi Magic Film Glue over the whole nail. So that way that transfer foil transfers over beautifully. have a hand with you right now the concept is fantastic i like the magnet magnet part of it who said that Antonio. i do do you want to see it oh, it's right behind me would love 
love to see you on YouTube. I know, that's something I really want to focus on this year. And we actually just ordered a really fancy, dancey computer. We're going to cure that for 30 seconds. So I really want to do that because I feel that people don't want to go to trade shows anymore. People don't want to go to um, classes anymore. So I have to give the people what they want. So here she is. Her name is Mujeres. What's her name, Claudia? Mujeres. Mujeres. I'm just kidding. It's the practice hand from enocouture.com. And then you can pop off the little finger. And you hold it like this. Like you're practicing on a real person. To me, this feels more real when you're practicing than a whole hand. A whole hand that's stiff and lifeless. This, to me, you know... It feels more real. And it looks really cool. And you can also display it too. It's super affordable, you guys. It's less than 20 bucks here in the US. And then you just do a little dab of our um, quickie nail glue right here. You glue on the nail that you want. And then you're good to practice. And you can display it like this. Or you can also put it like this as well. And these, you can do a little drop of acetone. And the glue will come off. And look at that. You're good to practice. And a lot of people have asked what is on this thumb. And this is the unicorn gel that will be coming out really soon. And that's what the unicorn gel looks like. And that's all I can show you. Because it's actually ready. It's ready to. It's ready for sale. But we're so busy right now that we are pushing back. Holding back a little bit on new products. Rebecca, I'm sorry. I know you mentioned it earlier. But what color is the happy gel? Princess pink. Max, do you have a store or is it all online? All online. Antonio says he has a storefront, but you can't really go in and shop. Actually, we don't have a storefront at all. It's all warehouse. We have lots of rooms in the warehouse, but we don't have a storefront. Yeah, but YouTube won't give them the experience point employers look for that's true and i think we'll still do maybe some trade shows or maybe like one class a year well, or so dying to take a class. but it just really depends because every year i feel like less and less people want to do classes i need to get these Lisa. like two years ago i had like 40 students in my vegas class and last year i had like 10 Unicorn gel, I love the bottle. Yeah, beautiful. And it's because people don't want to travel so much. It's expensive. All that stuff. Yeah, that's what I meant. You have a front door. <laughs> yes, I do. So let's bake that for a minute. So, Klau, do you want to try some of the abalone foils? Mm. And then we can put some gold around it. What do you think? What do you guys think? Do you like these kinds of foils? Will you ever be coming to a trade show in Orlando? Um, not this year, no. I did my class in Orlando last week. So that is all of my Florida for this year. Because <laughs> I only go to Florida when it's cold. Look at these. This is the red velvet foil. I wish Claudia would do stuff like this, but she's like, no. This is a chic chick. This one's really cool too. Someone says lace. Lace and leather. That's really popular. Look at this one. Ooh wee. Barbie girl realness. Mm -hmm. You don't like this one either, huh? Yeah. Which one? Mm -hmm. You like blue a lot, don't you? One of these. These are kind of cool. This is cool. With the peacock feathers. Roses. A zebra. There you go. Somebody wanted more animal print. Isn't that an animal print too? Or am I... It's cheetah with roses. This collection. This is the girl's day. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's very hologram realness. This one? Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is very, like, outer space Sailor Moon hologram. You sure you want to try this one? Mm-hmm. 
Because I'm not going to take it off after we stop the video. Because I got stuff to do. <laughs> Choose wisely. Which one do you want? You don't ask me. Don't, whoa, don't tease me. All of them at the same time. I like this one more than the blue one. More. This one? Mm -hmm. Shall we do this one, you guys? What do you think? Let's cut up a piece. Angela says she wants to move to Florida. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Will you be coming to Orlando? But your classes are so much fun. They are. And you know, I love to share and everything like that, but people don't want to take classes anymore. When are you coming back to Monroe? I've missed it and I am so sad about it. Don't even know. Didn't even know. Going where? Uh, Montreal? Montreal? I don't know. My husband and I are looking for homes in Florida. Something purple says on something. The color of royalty. Love the foils. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that is cool. And every finger will gets to be different. Look how beautiful this fold just transfers everything, you guys. Oh, it's the one on top of the one you took. Which one is it? Where is it? Oh, the, the peacock one. Come through hologram realness. That's cool. That's cool. See, Matt? I guess we have to... Como se dice? Compromise. Compromise. It's hard for men to compromise though. Stunning. Stunning. Come through, mama. Ooh, we are very holographic. Oof. What do you guys think? Is that dope or what? Chat about the hand. Is DM best way to chat with you? Is what? The direct message. Who said that? Tina. Mc um, actually, no. To talk to me is. You're talking to me right now. This is your opportunity. But for my personal sanity, I actually don't reply to DMs or anything like that because then I would be up all night yeah. replying to messages. Yeah. And I have an incredible team that helps out with that. But if you have questions, you can always email the website and they will be more than happy to help you, my love. OMG, that foil is so pretty. What collection did we say this one was from? Girls Day. So this is from the Girls Day collection. <laughs> I love that those nails. I need some more. Yes, this is Girls' Day. It's little purple space snail. Angie, love it. Should we put more on it, or do you want to leave it just like that? Really? You don't want to put anything more? Oh, the the hologram sh uh, shiny. Yes, we can. For nail tech or nail tech students. What was that? I'm sorry. Do you do deals for nail techs or nail tech students? Our prices online are pro pricing, and they're super affordable. And we also have lots of different sales, and we have lots of promo codes going on all at all at the same time too. So our prices are really affordable, and check them out. I don't know of another company that has prices as competitive as us. Mm -hmm. 
any cheaper and I would might as well give you a kidney. <laughs> and we have afterpay now too. Beautiful, look at that you guys. She's got some, some space nails. And now we're gonna, you want some of the hologram shiny, huh? You wanna do the pink one? The pink shiny? This one's really pretty. So, these are the limited edition shiny gels, you guys. There's only 4,000 worldwide. And they have shimmer in them, too. So this is the pink one. And they come only in the set of three. And we're going to apply a nice, even coat over the whole nail. You're right about great prices. Oh, thank you. And everything is made here in America. That's really important for me, you guys. You already know that. Max, did you say Nevada was a tax-free state, or was it Arizona? Uh, Nevada is. There are seven states that are tax-free in regards to, I mean, not federal tax, but state tax, that they do not have state tax. And it's Nevada, Florida, Alaska doesn't have state tax. Um, I want to say North Dakota. I can't remember the other ones. But the And Texas, Texas doesn't have state tax. So you can see the shiny gel is thicker than the regular shiny, but after a few seconds, once it levels out, it just has a really beautiful sheen to it, super thin as well. Sonia, who is the, your first time buyer, mm -hmm. says, I think I got a really good deal for the two brushes. I, there were two for 20 bucks. I have bought single brushes for much, much more. I am so happy with the prices I paid in all, and I was approved for afterpay. Yeah, afterpay is incredible. It really it, um, makes it easy and convenient for everybody to get enocouture.com products. And it's also great to stock up on stuff as well. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. And the shimmer is just really soft and sheen. So let's bake that for a minute. Oregon is also a state. Yeah, I think Oregon is too, right? It's tax free, uh, state tax free. And I love the new longer shiny caps. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, they're too long. But you actually have more precise control. Because it's almost like using a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Do you only have the one brush size for acrylic? We have like over 150 brushes, my love. So go on the website and check them all out. I'm pretty sure you'll find a brush that's perfect for you. Or you can buy all of them. That's what I did. Like Delaware. our pinky star brushes are so dope. <laughs> Delaware is, is, oh, really? And I asked Antonia in a video too, I was like, how is it in Florida? But she's like, we have to pay county tax. Oh. Uh, is afterpay only in the US? Yes. We need afterpay in Canada, Max. <laughs> Give Miss Lucy a call. Love the new cap. Let's make sure we get those edges really well, you guys, because we don't want anything peeling off. That's never fun, is it? It's not cutesy bootsy. Well, I must be. Peeling off edges. Oh, yeah. I've never had that happen. No, never. Not today. It's so cute and simple. Can you imagine if these were long ratchet stripper nails? How cool they would look. Switch. Look at that one. But they're the VIP stripper nails. Career woman realness nails. And they're completely dry too. So you don't want anything else? No, like what? Diamonds? No. <laughs> okay, I guess. I think they look cute, don't you think so? What do you guys think? I Next, put more diamonds on the nails. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Why so, super cute? let's wait a few seconds, you guys, and then apply some cuticle oil. <clears throat> mm. 
Look at that, just super cute and easy. This is actually something very commercial and very fast to do. Like literally it took what, 60 seconds to do the design? 90 seconds? I didn't time you, remember I used to time you? 30 seconds to dry the Maxi Magic film glue and like 60 Love seconds to apply it on. Perfect. We're gonna wait a few seconds. Wait, yeah. after pay, do you get the products after you pay it off? No, you get them after you place your order, but because of the extended um, lead times right now, they will take at least a week for you to get your order, depending. We're working seven days a week right now, you guys. So they are busting their butts off in the back. And not only are they packing orders, but we're manufacturing products like crazy, like our one, two, three, go mold machines. They're like on fire literally because they do not stop making gels. I mean, making the nails and it's, it's crazy. It's such a blessing. So cute. I love short nails. I know some of you players who love short nails. Yes, unfortunately. Let's get some hard light up in here so we can appreciate it. Look at that. Can you guys see that little pink twinkle in there? I can. It's too little. And everything is in stock too, you guys. You don't have, even if you wait a week, two weeks, a month for your order, everything is in stock too. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Only if the product is like on clearance and then it's being discontinued, then there's a chance you might get a refund like for maybe like a maxi nail polish or a pudding gel or a cakey gel because those are items that are being discontinued or the um, express, the dual molds. Those are also being discontinued, but everything else that's permanent line is here and it's not going anywhere. Look how beautiful that is. So simple yet so cute and just really commercial today. It's all about stuff that you can do in the salon that, you know, you can add another 10, 20 bucks to your service by adding foil. And look how cool and easy it looks too. Oh, look, we got a really good reply. So she said, okay, we don't have state income tax, nor do we have county tax. We have sales tax. So if you move here, you might get a 3 to 10% raise in, in pay. The reason we don't is because we are a tourist state and we tax on hotels that cover the missing state tax. That Like Vegas. There you go. And they have the, the gambling tax. Love the foils. Look like Picasso made them. Totally, right? So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget to check out all the new stuff that we put on the website. And there's more to come. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Good day, you guys. Thanks, Clow.